Hey, hey, everybody. Rochelle Plumstead here, Remax East Coast League. Thanks for joining me for this week's Moving Up Minute. I'm not in my car this week because I wanted to share with you the latest stats. I do apologize for the glare on my glasses. I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't have a fancy film crew or fancy lights or anything like that. Just me sitting at my counter going to discuss this with you. So please excuse my glare. Let's take a look at this. So we've got April and then we've got year to date. And it's a neat trend to watch. So if we look at April, we can see that sales are down, both volume and dollar amount, same as year to date. New listings, we can see those are down April, year to date. This is the interesting part. Active listings are up 35% in April and 52% year to date. What does that mean? That means that there's houses on the market that just aren't selling. Why? Well, Perhaps the sellers have priced too high for what buyers can afford right now. Why can't buyers afford what they could? Take a look at the interest rates. Take a look at the interest rates, the cost of living, all of these factors. People can't afford what they could have last year or the year before. So sellers, if you're in a higher price range, you might need to adjust your expectations. You're either going to lower your price to attract more buyers or you're going to have to be patient to get the price that you want, which may or may not happen anytime soon. Do not get angry with your realtor. Why? Well, we don't make any money unless a property sells. So we're doing everything we can to get these higher priced homes sold to find a buyer. But there's only so many buyers that can afford them. So just make sure that you're understanding that. Why does all of this matter to me? If I'm representing you, which I always do, I always represent you, not me. It's all about you and your listing. I need to know based on the market where we should be priced, what should we be listing at, and what can we expect to get you for an actual offer. As a buyer, I need to know how do we negotiate. If a house has been on the market for three, four, five months and seen three different price reductions, what should we offer? If it's been on the market for six hours and they're taking offers as they come in, how do we offer at that point? This all matters. If you're not thinking of moving up, why should you care? Well, if you're a homeowner, then chances are this is the biggest investment that you've made in your life and probably will ever make. You need to know where you stand in the market because people's situations change. It's fluid. If something happens and you need to buy or sell, you should know what's going on in the market. So hopefully this helps. If you want the detailed report, just let me know. Fire me off a message. Give me your email address. I'll send you the full report. Wishing you guys all a fantastic weekend. If you're moving up, moving over, moving out, you've got questions, I've got answers. Bye for now. We'll see you all next week.